Are you ready? What? Yeah, yeah. Give me 10 minutes. I'm in this like battle with reptile. It's real close. 10 more minutes? Yeah. We've been waiting for you for like half an hour. And what's the problem? You can't goof around anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm the new producer. I'm not Ariel, your friend. Mm hmm, sure. Whatever you say. You got that? <laughs> you got that? Yeah, got it. I'll see you in the studio. What's going on? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Um, Jamie, are we good now? Yeah, just stop being like a little All right, well guys, it's uh, rumors galore, plus we'll reveal the winners of our Griffin Stylus Pen Laser Thingamabob giveaway. Now let's get to the stories, and what would our show be without a new report from Digitimes that says their supply chain sources tell them Pegatron Technology has landed orders for assembling the 6th generation iPhone that won't be called the iPhone 6, and they report it's planning to launch in September. Guys, that's my favorite season. You know, just as the leaves change colors and oh, they fall off the branches in the autumn. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> All right, uh, Digitimes also throws in a mention that the seven inch iPad is launching in August as well, just in case you didn't know it was coming. But there's more. Earlier in the week, they also claimed Apple will be releasing a $799 MacBook Air in the third quarter of 2012 to combat PC makers' hopes of pricing upcoming Ultrabooks around $699. Guys, please don't buy anything right now unless you're real desperate until Ivy Bridge computers come out. Now, I'm not planning to buy one because I'm just glad I recovered my lost MacBook Air from my Disney vacation that I left in the refrigerator. <laughs> it's, it's a true story. But we're still not done with the rumors after Cult of Mac reported that their own source has seen a prototype Apple HD TV in action. The source says what he saw looked like Apple's current LED backlit cinema display, but it's much bigger. Could that be because a 42 inch display is larger than a current 27 inch LED display? That's crazy. Now the source says the Apple TV prototype has a built in eyesight camera for FaceTime video calls, and it also has Siri integration. We still don't know when or if this product will actually reach the market, but analysts are now saying the Apple TV likely won't debut until 2013. Just like we've been saying since December of last year. They should really watch the Apple Bite. All right, and some pretty cool news and something that we can actually look forward to. Apple was recently awarded a patent related to the way a 4G antenna is housed in a laptop. Get ready for the MacBook 4G in the future, and there's real evidence to back this up. It's the 13th patent Apple has won relating to display integrated cellular antennas. So now, let's just save up for those awesome data plans. All right, guys, let's shift gears. And we're big Spotify fans here, and I know plenty of you are too. So we've got a killer tip for adding your own music files to the Spotify app on the iPhone. Spotify's music subscription service is a great way to discover and share music. And with their mobile app and a premium account, you can take their huge library of songs with you anywhere you want to go. But every once in a while, you'll think of a song you want to hear that isn't available on Spotify, but you know it's on your phone somewhere. On an Android phone, you can use the Spotify app to play any of your locally stored music, but on the iPhone or iPod Touch, Spotify can't peek into any locally stored files you transferred through iTunes. But with a little extra work, you can meld your music collection into the Spotify app and leave the iPhone stock music app behind. For the first step, open up Spotify on your computer and check to see that you have a premium account by going to your name and clicking account. You'll see the account status here, if you don't have a premium account and you really want this feature, now's the time to upgrade. Next, head over to your local files. This is going to show you all the files on your computer that you can sync over to the Spotify app. There's a total at the top, and if it seems a little off, go into the Preferences menu and make sure that the folder where you keep your music is included on the local files checklist. I had my iTunes music folder in a location other than the default one, so I had to add it manually. Now here's where the magic happens. Make sure that both your iPhone and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Open up the Spotify app on your phone, and you should see it pop up under the devices here on your computer's Spotify app. From this view, you can tell Spotify to transfer your entire music collection 
or individually select which playlist to sync over. Spotify will now sync your files over Wi-Fi and you'll see a running tally of how much space is available on your phone at the top. Once transferred, you'll see your tracks pop up under the local files listing on your phone and now all of your favorite songs are all available in one place and you can listen to them here without having to leave the app. All right, good stuff there, Donald. Because I'm saved by the bell. Yeah. Not funny, guys. All right, more stories in. I'm sure almost every single one of you bought an iPod between 2006 and 2009. Well, you're now part of a class action lawsuit against Apple after Thomas Slattery filed suit in 2005, claiming Apple was violating antitrust legislation by forcing users to only purchase music through iTunes and preventing the playback of songs purchased from real networks. Now you'll be notified you're part of the class action suit. You don't have to do anything, but you'll probably end up only getting 10 bucks out of it, which you'll use to buy an iTunes gift card. All right, to so the quick bites, the Big A released iOS 5.1.1 with bug fixes for that cruddy network switching on the iPad. It fixes bugs for some AirPlay video playback, improves the reliability of the HDR option for photos taken with the lock screen shortcut, and a few more things. Also, if you've logged into iCloud.com recently, it looks like Apple is testing notifications through the website, according to Mac Rumors, which could be useful for calendar alerts, new mail, or new services we haven't even seen yet. And in a fun story from the Associated Press, orangutans at Miami's Jungle Island have been using the iPad to communicate as part of a mental stimulus program using software that was originally developed for people with autism. Now a trainer will name one of the objects on screen and the orangutan presses the corresponding button, proving that any ape or monkey can use an iPad. All right, let's get to naming our winners for the Griffin Silas giveaway. I did want to mention a disturbing trend where more than a handful of you write in to be a winner with a reason like this. Why should I win? Because I'm Asian like you. Guys, do you think that's really going to work? I would never do that. And Ryan Southern, even being half Asian, isn't convincing enough. Look, the Apple Bite is a place for equality, where any race, creed, gender, sexual preference, or even Android user can win. So let's announce our winners. Congratulations go to Alex Wu, Cliff Chan, and Andrea Lin. All right, guys, I'm messing with you, but the real winners are Julia Calderon, who teaches seventh graders and hosts to point the laser in their eye when they annoy her, Jim Baggett, who's a pen freak and carries around a glow stick in his pocket, and Christopher Lovos, who wants to draw the hard details in my face. He actually said that, but he's also a pretty dope artist without it. So congrats to all of you, and we'll be in touch. That's going to do it for this week's show. Send me your emails to theapplebite at cnet.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Tong, and we'll catch you next time for another Bite of the Apple. Oh, look at this. Look at Jim, you. Uh, help me out. What happened to you? Oh. <laughs> Hope they didn't hurt too much. <laughs>